Okay, so once I got to the point where I saw the video review, um, the way that I looked at it, um, to be honest, I don't even think I require it because I think I understand it now. What I think I need to do is to control the statue and move it underneath the ivy, position it underneath the ivy, then use the claw shot to launch myself up, drop down, and then jump over. Yeah. Yeah, like, I should have thought of that before, and I didn't. But, oh well. We got another Sky character. Yeah, I, I probably should have thought of that without use of a video review. Okay, so now I want to see if I can get that chest. So let's move you over to the right. I want to position you in such a way that I can jump onto you and then transition over. Okay, so position it just right and then... Okay, made that. And now, can I make this jump? Uh, nope, I didn't do it right. Well, you know what? We'll stick around and keep trying. Um, it's a shame you can't really use the um, claw shots and dominion rod in combination with each other. Because that would probably be pretty cool. Alright, so, try this again. Move you far, as far to the right as I can. And then... I'm going to see just how far I should move you. Okay. I'm going to hope this is enough. Here we go! Alright. Alright, yeah, now this is a better position to jump from. Okay, go! There it is. Yeah. I really should have thought about this. I shouldn't have needed to use the video review. But yeah, we're now over 400 rupees again. Man, we're just getting it in spades here. Alright, so now it's time to transition to tomorrow and I'm being attacked by evil dogs. I'm being attacked by evil dogs and that's not cool. Alright, so five sky characters down, one to go. And I want to see, there's a place I passed by a long time ago that I saw the spinner that it could be used here. I want to see where that is, because I want to see if I can use it to get something else. Now, I just suddenly have obtained this innate desire to want to obtain various things. Um, okay, for some reason I mistook you for a Poe, and I don't know why! <coughs> okay, so it looks like the line starts here. Alright, let's pull out my spinner. Let's put you in place of the bomb arrows. Alright, so let's get off Kiara and start riding. And go. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Okay, that wasn't what I had in mind. Uh, calm down there, spinner. Okay, looks like you have to make a transition here. And, and wait for the right moments and go. Uh, that wasn't it. Uh, excuse me. Don't have time for you. Do not have time for you, you crazy little thing. But it looks like you're not gonna give up on your pursuit. Well, you had your chance and you blew it. You had your chance and you blew it. Right. No, 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 no. Not gonna worry about that, Rupee. I want to try and make this transition! But where am I transitioning to? That's the thing. Is that even where I transition to? Um, okay. Yeah, because these rails have to do something. They wouldn't just be here. They wouldn't, they wouldn't just put these things here. Okay, take you for a ride. And so... Um, uh, we're so close. Go! Okay. Get off and try again. And... 
oh, okay, okay, I get it, I get it. I get it. I have to make that jump, and then the moment I'm directly over that little open spot of land, get off. Go. I get it. I see what you gotta do. And... No, that's not it. Oh, what, what, what the? Is there another rail over there? Well, we'll worry about that in a moment. Now, first of all, I need to get my daily source of protein. <laughs> Ugh. If I'm gonna be doing all this stuff with the owls, I might as well get all the goodies that I can find while I'm making these trips. Okay. okay try it again. Okay, yeah, there is another spinner section there. And I need to time that better. Because, yeah, I did catch a glimpse of a spinner area on the opposite side. Okay. And... Okay, I caught- I held on. Oh, but it doesn't look like I can go any further unless there's like a claw shot or something. Okay, it's a, Okay, it looks like it's a situation where this could- this could take a long time to master this. It's like the ultimate spinner puzzle. And it's probably for like an orange rupee or a piece of heart. Uh, no, not you. Go. Alright, here we go. Okay, yeah, you definitely need to work on the timing. You need to work on the timing, you need to work on the positioning. You gotta put yourself right where the spinner rail is going to start. Ah! So close. Yeah, so close. But I will get it. I'll figure this out, don't worry. I only have one more owl statue left, so it's not like if I don't get this, I have to be hitting the panic button. Okay, go. Oh, I... Yeah, suddenly I go from good timing it right to timing it too soon. Yeah. Go. And... Go! Oh, are you kidding me? Yeah, that's just crazy. Yeah, don't you ever get those feelings in video games, especially in the old school video games where you feel like you're getting it and then suddenly you do all the things that prevented you from getting it in the first place? And why am I going backwards? I did not say go backwards! You got it all wrong! And I definitely got that all wrong. You know what? Forget it. Forget it. We're gonna leave this alone. Yeah, I... Yeah, I'm sure I could probably pull this off, but it's just... I, I need to focus on getting those owl statues. That's more important. Th this is pretty much trivial. Huh. We, we can always come back and try it another time, but I need to focus on getting myself to the sixth owl statue. That is the priority. So, we need to put priorities ahead of other things. Okay, so back over to Hyrule Castle. Because I think that the sixth one is around here. Oh, hold on. Oh. Yeah, yeah. But, yeah, I need, wanted to stop. Because, one thing, I'm being attacked. And two, there is an insect over here. And I want to see if it's an insect that I've already gotten. Or if it's an insect that I've yet to obtain. Um, come on. Don't be shy, pick it up. What do we got? A male butterfly. Yes, I haven't caught something like this yet. Alright. Well done. Okay, it looks like we can't go any further. And I see statue number six right there. Okay. Oh, and uh, there's a Poe, but it's going to be gone. It's going to be too late. Hopefully not. Can I get this in time? Can I get this in time? 
Go, go, go. Get it, get it, get it. Come on, come on. While it's still around, while it's still around. Come on, go, go, yes. Come on, it's right there. It's right there. No! Damn it! It was right there and I blew it. It's right there and I blew it. And it's not even going to give me its soul. It's dead. It's dead. I wasn't even aware this was even possible to kill off a Poe. Wow. That means there's no way I can get to 60. I blew my shot at 60 Poe's if I decide to do it in extras. Oh, I... Wow. It was right there, and I couldn't even be bothered to demonstrate the necessary commitment in order to get it. Oh, I am just beside myself right now. I was so desperate to beat the clock, and I blew my shot. Who knows, maybe, maybe it'll come back, I don't know, but... I guess it's something I'll have to ask, maybe comment on someone, like, can you get a second chance on Pose that you kill off? Because I really hope that's not the case. I would really like to hope that you don't actually blow it. So anyway, the ancient sky book is filled with the missing characters. It's a clue to finding a path to the sky. And yeah, yeah, yeah. Alright, I saw there was a chest over there too, so let's go ahead and get that. Ah, uh, I really hope I didn't blow it. I really hope that I did not blow a shot at getting 60 poses. Uh, yeah, I guess I'm gonna probably have to, like, Facebook or I am say Nella or something in order to find out if it is actually possible to not get a second chance on a po. Ugh, because, yeah, that... man... That was embarrassing to have that happen. Okay. I'm not quite feeling confident yet. Let you come a little bit closer to me. And then let's try it. Yep, that'll do it. Let's get the treasure chest. And we got another orange rupee. So now I'm up to 535. <laughs> yeah. While you look, before you look, start looking around your shoulder... Let's go back to Elden Village, no, Elden Province and Kakariko Village because we can give 535 more rupees to Malamart and maybe now that the book is filled with Sky characters we can present it to Shad and he can help us advance with the storyline. That'll be 50 rupees. Uh, but yeah, if it turns out you can't get that Poe, uh, that that definitely goes in the list of worst bloopers I've ever had as a YouTube gamer. No doubt. Okay, so let's go back over to Malamarts and give them 535 more rupees. Yeah, their dream has almost come true because I've gone from pretty much being wanting to focus solely on gameplay to just turning into a treasure hunter. You have 922 left? Well, when I'm done with you, you will only have less than 400. You're down to 387. Yeah, so you're definitely getting more than you bargained for, I'm sure. Alright, now let's go over to Renato's hut and get our hands on... Hopefully, what we've been wanting to get our hands on this whole time. I just hope Shad has not left Kakariko. Alright. Hi, Elia. Okay, so back down this hole, and let's... Yes, Shad has returned. So let's give him a talking to, but I'm sure that we have to give him the book. Let's give him the book. Place the Dominion Rod over here, and give it to Shad. Hey, Shad, behind you. Is that that book from? Is this that book from last time? Oh. Are there more letters in the word than the last time I looked at this? How did you investigate the 
Mattia, this is amazing! Amazing! Now this must be the word we need. Let's try it immediately. And so Shad uses whatever word he's saying. And this time, we have success. Or maybe something just disappeared. Ugh, you gotta be kidding me. It has taken on the same shape as the other statues. Oh, okay. That so that little thing that disappeared was like a little lock. It was like a you so you couldn't move it so unless you took the lock off. What can this mean? And I thought we had solved the last of the riddles. Blast! How confounding! Don't give up yet, Shad. I must apologize, Mattia. I need to cool off a tad before I mold the problem further. Oh, you, you give up too easily, Shad. Perhaps if I use the Dominion Rod... And now that you can be moved... Go! Hey, Shad, guess what? I moved the statue! Over here, I moved it! Come on, talk to me! This thing has confounded me thoroughly. Ow! Chad, turn around and look! I moved the owl statue for you! We now have, finally, at long last, a passage to whatever the heck is behind this door! What do we find? We found another version of the human cannonball is what we found. Mattia! How in blazes did you move that statue? Well, if you were paying attention, I was using the Dominion Rod. And what's this? Amazing! Spectacular! This must be the Sky Cannon I read about in my father's notes. I knew that my intuition was onto something when it led me here. Mm. But how can we... But how can one use this to get to the city in the sky? Stunning. I feel almost nervous. Just think if we could get this to work, we could actually reach the city in the sky. Well, my one, my concern would be, how do we get back down once we leave? Um, yeah, I had a feeling you'd be onto this, Minda. A cannon, huh? What do you plan to do with this, Mattia? Well, we're gonna warp it, I guess. Except that guy's still watching us. Oh, we have to draw him away then. All right. Um, keep going. Perhaps I am in your way. I guess you are. Well, forgive me for not realizing. I should just disappear at times like this, really. Oh. Wow. That's quite the angry look you have on your face. So, let me know the results another time, Mattia. Alright, so away he goes. Ah, yes. Let me give you one last piece of advice. That seems to be broken, so you do well to show it to a cannon expert first, I should say. The organ grinder. Farewell. <laughs> I, I think he may be on to us. Then again, he is a scholar. I wonder if I put him off. Uh, maybe. But then again, you are the devil witch, so you are known to scare people. So now we can indeed warp this to Lake Hylia. So, yeah, why do I have to be a wolf for you to do this? I mean, you're supposed to be the wolf once we warp. We don't... I'm not supposed to turn into a wolf until after you teleport something from point A to point B. Alright, so away we go. Departing from Kakariko Village, bound for Lake Hylia. So now we have two cannons to have fun with and not just one. 
and so they're gonna put it right out here in the open. That'll be 50 rupees. Right, so back to human. So I guess we gotta talk to the organ grinder first. So, organ grinder, I have something to show you. Your human cannibal has been e exceptional thus far, but I believe I have a more extraordinary use for it now. Hey, buddy. See what guy have brought you. So, uh, is that yours? Hey, buddy, I never thought you'd get so hooked on fantastication that you'd try to build your own cannon. Believe me, I didn't build this, but I know someone who did. So, are you going to give me a tour or what? Looks like you have a serious rig over there. So, let's go ahead and show it to him. Whoa, it's kind of retro, huh? And there's no ignition device, so you can't even use it. Listen, buddy, I suppose I might be able to fix it for you. I mean, maybe. But, am I gonna have to pay you? That is, if you can pay me 300 rupees?! WHAT?! Oh my god, 300 rupees?! I spent so much time on helping out Malomart, and now I have to start forging for 300 rupees. Are you serious? Well, that means I have to do all of that off camera. I have to forge for 300 rupees off camera, and I am not happy about that. Well, I can... I can make a dent in it to some extent by warping back to Castletown because I do have some more insects that I can give to Princess Agatha. So I can at least do that, but yeah. Oh my god. I was thinking maybe 50 or 100, but 300? That'll be 50 rupees. And, oh, you gotta be kidding. 300? Sir... And to think, you only charged me 10 rupees for a single shot of the cannon to get to the Oasis. Oh, Chariots of Fire, you, you might actually be a good face I see in this episode. Greetings, Mr. Matia. I have come to deliver a letter. It is a letter from Shad. Well, my business is concluded. Onward to mail. Alright, another letter from Shad, huh? Well, we might as well have a read. What does he have to say? Update. After a part of the statue, I tried to find word... I tried that word on all those statues I could find in Hyrule, but it was a disaster. But if I let something so small get to me, my dear father will scoff at me from beyond the mortal coil. I'm going back to the sanctuary in Kakuiko Village to see if I can't find another lead. I certainly hope that if you find any more information, you will share it with me post-haste. The Dream Chaser Shad. <laughs> Very well. Um, let's go ahead and give Princess Agatha her insects. But yeah, then after that, I have to grind for, I think it's the remaining 200 rupees off camera. Which means I'll have to go back out in the field. And one thing I would hope, like to do, is go and find that, um, one, that particular Poe again down at the south, and hope that it responds. If it doesn't, I'll be gutted. I'd, I'd be absolutely gutted if the maximum number of Poes I can get now is 59. So back to Agatha's castle. So, I have more insects for you, my lady. Have you brought a bug for Princess Agatha's ball? I have indeed. I have one, two new insects to bestow upon you. Milady, I present to you a golden butterfly. It was found in the field east of Castletown. Here you are. Oh, who's your little, f who's your friend? You're a little male butterfly, aren't you, you little cutie? Little butterfly, little butterfly, I want to be wrapped up in that powder too. 
What powder? It, it's a it's a butterfly. It's not Tinkerbell. It's not gonna spread pixie dust on you. <laughs> Thank you so much. I'm so happy. Allow me to share this happiness with you. So I get one purple rupee. And then let's give you another insect for another 50. Milady, I present to you a male gay a male day fly. It was found in the Gerudo Desert. So here you go. Yeah, the fast track will likely be to use the process of finding insects again. You little male day fly, aren't you, you little cutie? Little day fly, little day fly. I want to take your colorful tail and make the loveliest braid ever. <laughs> That's probably the most adorable one of the of what I've seen so far. <laughs> Thank you so much. I'm so happy. Allow me to share this happiness with you. And so we got another purple rupee. So yeah, you only need ten more. You only need ten more insects. Alright. We're almost to the finish line as far as that's concerned. In fact, as far as finding insects are concerned, I might as well do it the way I have been doing it, which is on camera, but using um, the various information that I've had for reference. So, um, we have one, two, three, four, five, six different pairs not yet accounted for. And we have two insects that we haven't even seen yet. So... I guess we're going to start by trying to find the various pairs, because yeah, I have six males here that don't have females to go with them. So I guess I'm going to have to try and become a ladies man of sorts. So, we'll save the game, and I guess we're going to try and find where these other insects could possibly be. So I'm going to take a time out and do the video review to try and figure out where I could find the insects and hopefully see if that Poe comes back. So be back in a moment.